Today, um, I just wanted to reach out to you and talk about um, the pain because um, these very uncertain times, uh, fear is running rampant um, across our entire globe, across the globe, our country, um, our towns, our our cities, our parishes, um, your counties. And um, I think the enemy loves when that happens, it just absolutely loves when that happens. So, but what I wanted to talk to you about is if um, we can find a way to pay attention to each and every um, situation that comes our way, whether it be a trial, a storm, a virus, a pandemic, whatever it is, um, I think that if you'll notice, you can always see the hand of God at work. Always. Always. Um, God is still on the throne. Um, he has not left his throne. He is still in full, full, full control. The enemy has not won anything. Devil has not won anything. You know, this is literally the time for us as Christians and as believers to come to the full knowledge of the fact that God is still on the throne. And so we have to recognize his hand in every single uh, situation that comes. And this is no different. This pandemic is no different. And if I pay attention, I can see God using every circumstance. And like I said just now, this one is no different. I can see God's hand and I can see him using every circumstance as an opportunity to teach me to depend on him more. Now, I, I know, I know, I get it. That's not like a lesson we were dying to learn, right? No, of course not. Um, I'm, you know, we're always looking for the lessons like, give me a reason to shout, because y'all know me, I love to shout, oh, like everybody, but um, as much as anyone, but the work of grace is a much deeper work. It works on a much deeper level than just the surface that we tend to acknowledge in our day-to-day -day existence, okay? The work of grace is deeper. Grace is literally God drawing me, a sinner, God drawing me closer and closer to Him. And how does He do that? He doesn't do it by always um, shielding me from problems, okay? He doesn't do it by always shielding me from all the pain and the trauma that is in my world. He doesn't do that um, by always protecting me from every single attack from the enemy. Yes, I, I know. No weapon formed. I get it. But the weapon will be formed. It just won't prosper. But he does this by pre, uh, not 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 just by preventing burdensome and um, frustrating circumstances, but understand that this work of grace and and this work, this lesson of me learning that I can completely and fully trust him. He does it by exposing me. To some things that absolutely expose my inadequacy. Yeah. He he does this by proving to me I don't have it all and I don't have it all together don't have all the answers. 
but when he exposes me to my inadequacies, that is not there to frighten me into oblivion, into, you know, some type of backslidden state of, oh my God, there is no God. And if there was a God, why would, no, 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 no. That's not what this is meant to do. This is supposed to expose my inadequacy so that I can understand my ultimate need for him. It's meant to drive me closer to him, not to drive me further. The pain, the suffering, the uncertainty, the questions, it is not meant to drive you and I further from him. He's just really trying to draw us closer. And when we realize that we don't have all the answers, that's okay. Because he's the answer. When I realize I don't have every single provision I may need to stay locked up in a house for a month or whatever, however long it's going to be for some of us. I realize that's okay. Because he's the provider. He is not a resource. He's the source. So, just out here, Promise Ranch, sitting in my little camper, trying to encourage somebody today. You're not alone, so don't believe that line. You're not alone. We are all in this together. Your pain is our pain. My pain is yours. And um, but God is greater than it all. You can depend on Him. You can lean on Him. I promise you that. He is so sweet to trust in Jesus. I opened up, um, I think it was on my Instagram earlier, I said, uh, any song request? And someone threw this one out. It was a song that I wrote a long time ago um, when I was in such a state of uh, sadness or loss, I guess you could say. And it says, still I will trust him and still I will follow still I will listen to your every calling though the storm rages on and I can't find my way still I will trust you Lord let's keep trusting he's never let us down before